factory is a modern teaching and learning environment that simulates real manufacturing. It's unique because it shows a multiple stages of product creation. It's fairly different from a traditional lab that usually focuses on a specific course or area of study. Hi, I'm Dr. Tom Wanyama. I'm the director of the Learning Factory in the School of Engineering Practice and Technology. I'm Tyler and I'm in my second year of Mechanical Engineering. First year I was really interested in finding a research position. I thought it was a great way to, to learn a lot more compared to uh, just a regular co-op. Uh, so I kind of went through what all of the professors were researching at the school and I stumbled upon Tom's research and I found that the automation and the lab was very interesting for my quick Google search and, and reading his reports. And I was really interested in just using the facilities. It was very interesting, very intriguing. Uh, you walk by it and it looks really cool. I was tasked with designing an RC car and starting a club uh, for McMaster. So I did a lot of research. I modeled and used all the 3D modeling skills I'd learned in class. And then using the facilities we have, our 3D printers, I, I printed parts and prototypes. I would test them and I would continuously uh, compare them to different models and see what we could change to make them better uh, until we got a car that we're really happy with. We're happy with its testing results, how it performs, how it's able to take a jump and not break. And now we're starting to develop into uh, making a club and allowing kids to join. Learning Factory just has a lot of great tools that you wouldn't find anywhere else. Tools that would be in industry that are very applicable to outside of the Learning Factory. It's a great resource that we have on campus. It's just a great place to, to be able to learn with a kind of a safety net. The Learning Factory is available to all students in the faculty of you can access it through regular labs, uh, through capstone projects and course projects, or through joining one of the two students' teams that we are supporting, which are the students' RSC team and the smart systems.